this level. Holy. We came here all the way from British Columbia, Canada to beautiful Port of Mau, Portugal to uh, check these bikes out. Pretty excited for how everything's going to go tomorrow. Emotions are running high. I can't wait. The weather is supposed to be absolutely perfect for riding tomorrow. And uh, we're going to see how many tires we can go through, I guess. Excited for tomorrow. Yeah! I'm really excited to check out the 2024 on one of the world's best racetracks. Super, super excited to see the bike for the first time. I'm a little anxious to see the bike and get to touch it and bond with it a little bit. Um, super excited to ride it, but overall, just the experience as a whole has been, it's been amazing so far. Never been an RC8C. Uh, grew up on R6s, RC51s, have a V4R and an M1000RR now, so this is a whole different league of bike for me. Um, really excited to have a race-inspired track bike, purpose-built, uh, so this will be the first one. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. The, the special, special name touches are amazing having the number on it and everything. In 22, I was one of six in Canada that got a 22. And now, I'm, I, I mean, who knows how many you went to Canada in 24, so. Exciting. I plan to ride the hell out of it. We have different days. I was, yeah, we were falling around just to kind of get the feeling of where we're supposed to be. I lost the group a little bit because I was having trouble with the GP shift. I kept shifting the wrong way, so. Um, but towards the end of the session, I started gaining speed. So the first half of the track, I'm really strong. The back half, I need to work on. So I'm excited to see how the day turns out. But right now, first impression, I'm blown away. Uh, it's far better than any other bike I've ridden. And again, I have a V4R, or M1000R, and this bike is way beyond those bikes, so super, super impressive. The feeling, the experience is uh, quite uh, quite good, coming here with the big factory guys and the, the fastest races ever, and you can show me how to use the new bike. It's very exciting and the bikes look, look looks incredible. When they, when they open the, the door of the garage, they, you can see the happy faces, smiling. They are excited to see okay, how the bike looks like, and, and especially when we start the engines. The first lap, uh, first outing, we take the helmet off when we come back. It's, it's, it's something uh, unbelievable. And, and they, they've been learning on this day quite a lot. And uh, it was always nice, you know, we could show them uh, a little bit how to, how to ride the bike as fast as possible. And you know, this. This race track is pretty complicated to learn, so first we needed to start slowly to get to the speed and uh, in the end I think everybody improved uh, really a lot. Even the lap time, somebody was interested in the lap time, how fast they could be and uh, the most important thing was that uh, they enjoyed to ride the uh, ATM RCHC and uh, obviously we liked it a lot also.
Lee, shit. She said, oh, it's different, isn't it? And I said, yeah, it's different. Though. <laughs> Just braking, I mean, that's all it, I mean, Obviously, I've experienced fast cars before, but the braking on a circuit like this is just next level. Oh, wow. wow. Made a quick phone call to Mr. Pimpara to ask him for a favor. Uh, and the favor was, can we please have uh, some RC16 parts, and I think the conversation was like, uh, yeah, sure, Federico, how many? Around 32. You know, we got here at the closing dinner, we thought maybe this was a wrap-up deal. Uh, everyone shakes hands, we exchange emails and, and, and tell stories, eat dinner, and, and we go our separate ways. Uh, at the end, when you guys gave us these bearings, even when you announced that they, they had a special gift for us, you walked these in the room, we still weren't really sure what was going on. We thought, oh, more bearings we could look at, we weren't really sure. Uh, to announce that the, the buyers, for one, got bearings was amazing. So, super crazy. I think. You know, seeing you guys in action as a team is, is inspiring. You know, KTM I can see is a family, um, and and you guys embraced us as part of that family. There was no like curtains. You guys let us see whatever it is we wanted to see, hang out as long as we wanted to hang out, and I thought that was super valuable. Um, that, that as the day went on, it got better and better and better and better. I can't say thank you enough. This has been amazing. So something I'll remember forever. Um, for you guys, it's another day in the life. For us, you, you're changing our, our, our memories, so thank you. A well, little issue about how to get it home, but yeah. I'm almost contemplating on buying a, another $2,000 plane seat to take it home so it's my passenger. <laughs> Get the way of mine.